Hey, what's good, everybody? No one's lost. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. All right, so today's vlog is going to be the installation of this. What I got the other day, the HPF uh, tailgate spoiler for the Honda Civic hatchback. Um, these come in variety colors. Like I said, uh, if you look at my last video of the unboxing of it, um, you will see all the links for all the other tailgate spoilers besides the one I ordered. So this definitely fits on a Honda Civic hatchback. I don't know about the Type R. I guess it does, but word of advice, if, if you can put it on a Type R, you probably will have to get a different color. Say you get white. I, this, the Type R has championship white, so it's, the color is going to be off compared to the Orchid White Pearl, that's for my hatchback, so, yeah, I guess they do, I mean, yeah, being that Spoon Sports has one, and Mucin, so, you can, you can order those parts online, some come painted, some come unpainted. Some have a carbon fiber finish, so it depends which one you get, and it depends how much money you want to spend. Like I said, I bought this from AFHK Parts, and only spent about $250. I went on the Honda site, and it goes for about $460. Bucks. So you think about another, and 600 installed, so... I would not recommend getting it directly from Honda themselves. I definitely recommend AFHK parts. They're probably the best for your buck. Because they, they are they are over like Honda OEM parts sites, but a lot of them are not trustworthy. Uh you really gotta definitely shop around before purchasing something i i did i went on another site actually and they were pretty good when i had my uh fa1 i ordered a bunch of parts for them and i never had an issue i mean well i did have one issue they sent me the wrong thing i ordered a um what the hell did i order oh i ordered a, a little lens for my um dome light and the package, they sent me the wrong package, they sent me a drive shaft instead. I was like, what the fuck? What the hell I need sign for that? So I had this big fucking drive shaft in, in my fucking apartment for like a week. I contacted, I forgot which site it was. Well, I contacted them and I was able to send it back to whoever owned it. it was, they shipped it to the wrong person. They were supposed to ship it to somebody else here in New Jersey. I'm like, I don't need a drive shaft. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, like I said, AFHK parts, definitely hit them up. Uh, they got a lot of OEM parts, aftermarket stuff. I mean, like I said, you go over the internet, just shop wisely. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go outside and install this. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because I have to go somewhere right after. Let's go. So, first of all, the tools you're going to need to take out the old, the stock tailgate spoiler. To pull on the HPF, you need some tweezers, which thankfully I had, thank God. I didn't lose them. Pry tool, because you'll have to get the clip out and a 10 millimeter socket wrench well wrench with a 10 millimeter socket with extension so what you want to do is get these bolts loose here and there and i'm gonna get started right now Yeah, I better get off camera and do this because this is, this is not going to work. All right, be back in a few. Okay, so I have gotten the bolts off. So now I'm going to close the hatch and pull this all up. The tailgate. 
So I'm gonna close it and pull it out. Should pop out easily, I hope. Got to do a little bit of force. So let me get off camera again and do this real quick. 20 minutes later, I've made a little progress. I popped out this side, now I gotta pop out the other side. And then uh, get those clips out. And then uh, should be ready to to go. Whew. I'm sweating like a freaking dog right now. Just trying to get this thing uh, off of here. So you gotta really be gentle pulling it because you don't want to break this thing. You go on the ground. Yeah, you don't want to break this. I might I might plan to sell it down the road, so at least I want to get something off of it. Alright, I've successfully gotten the wing off. So now, I'm going to clean the surface. Very important that you do this, because this wing... Oh my, I gotta open the car. Yeah. Because this one has double sided tape so you definitely would like would definitely would like to clean the surface as you see it's covered with dirt and grime or whatever so i'm gonna clean that up real quick and then take the clips out put the new clips in and then this is what will be a, a wrap so i just use some simple green all-purpose cleaner i mean you could use what you want i've seen people use detailer spray I don't know if that's the right choice. I think good old fashioned all wheel, all purpose cleaner will do the job. At least, it's, at least it won't harm the paint or anything. So I'm gonna clean her up real good. Make sure there's no dirt or debris in here. And then I'm gonna work on getting those clips out. But you cannot use these clips for the new uh, wing. You have to go, you have to use the old, you have to use the one that came with the kit itself. So all the clips are out. And now we're gonna put, mount the clips onto the new wing, get the tape off, and then mount it onto the back of the hatch, bolt it up, and we're, we're finished. All right, so the clips are all on. I kept this inside the car, so I don't get any dirt on the double-sided tape. Once I apply this on, so now I'm peeling the backing of it off. Oh, so that's good. They use outdoor double-sided tape. Very smart. Yeah, because yeah, you don't want indoor double-sided tape, or else this shit ain't going to bond. There you have it, it's fucking done. It looks fucking beautiful, man. Like I said, this is a nice new look to your Civic hatchback. If you if you look at a side profile, look at it. It looks race car like. I love it. I love the way it looks. Yeah, so this is not bad for 260 bucks. Like I said, this it, it takes a it takes a little time just pulling the old wing off and once you put the new one on it's pretty straightforward and it looks so good but i would recommend don't wash the car for a few days just because it has double side tape let it cure and then you can wash the car whatever you like so this is nice nice new wing but i do have to pull it back together so let me do that real quick and then i'm all done but anyway, I like the way this looks. This looks sexy. I mean, you can like it or hate it. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get offended. I don't really give a fuck. But this looks, this looks, this looks good on the car. I really, really like it. So, anywho. My coat is wet right now, but uh, thank you all for watching this vlog. Like, subscribe, favor. 
Um, as I said, I'm not going to post the links again about the wing. You should know where to get it. I listed them on the last vlog prior to putting the wing on today. So, yeah. You buy what you want. You want a Honda or Spoon Sports or Bugen, that's up to you. you buy what you want for the hatchback. All right, guys, I'm out of here.